Let me draw another card. Oh, now I will have to build like a meadow, right? <laughs> I've got only uh, these cards. Hey everyone, this is Atakas and today I will do a solo playthrough of Ecosystem. Those of you who know the game may know this does not have a solo mode, but there is an unofficial one. And fun fact, the developer actually liked the unofficial solo mode that much that they included it in the sequel, which I will also play on the channel quite soon. Alright, so um, I might actually record both videos today, so let's see. Okay, so um, Ecosystem, um, it's a little uh, card, a laying game, so to speak. You just build um, a little area of five by four cards, and like each card gives you points depending on where it lies, like where it is placed in relation to other cards. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple, but I want to show it to you because it's not bad. Um, I actually enjoy the sequel more, so I don't think I will keep this in my collection. Uh, there's like it's enough to have one of those, in my opinion, and I like the Coral Reef one more. But this one is also a very good one. You might actually, there are actually people who like the first one more. So let me just uh, show you the game. I will not do a montage today, just because um, the game, the setup of the game is as simple as just taking all the cards, shuffling them and putting them down. That's it. Uh, that's all in terms of setup you need. Let me just get them all in here. All right, there we go. Uh, so let me just give them a quick over and shuffle. That's usually enough. Um, let me just do it like this. That's fine. And then it will just to like do like two stacks at the top here. Um, you don't need to see the stacks uh, completely because I need the room to actually build like all the areas here. So I will just put them here like this. I think that should be fine. All right, and that's already it. Um, there are player reference cards. These don't really help you at the moment because these are in German. There's like, the, as you can see, the German version. Doesn't matter because all of the cards here of the animals don't have any text, so it's language neutral, but the player aids and the rules are uh, are in German. So I will put one aside just because um, I don't always like know everything by heart. There's quite a lot to actually keep track of. All right, so let me just put all of that aside here because we don't need that anymore. All right, and then for the solo setup, you draw 10 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. In a multiplayer game, it's a all a little bit different because you're actually drafting cards. So in a multiplayer game, each player would take two 10 cards and then you would like do like drafting rounds until everybody has like placed 10 cards, 10 of 20 cards, and then you do a second round again with that. Um, in a solo game, it's different. You just draw 10 cards. And um, I will like put them in a little order just so that I put like the same uh, the same kind of cards um, next to each other like this. Okay, I can already see like a few cool combinations. Ah, yeah, well, not too many great combinations, but that's fine. What we are doing, we are playing against an AI, an AI opponent that is Nitka. Um, that is like how the opponent is called here in the game in the um, in the solo variant. What we do um, in a turn, I will take a card, place it in my area. I will do a uh, I will do four lines and five columns, right? Four by five grid. And also, um, after I have placed my card here, I will have to place one in Nitka's grid. And Nitka's grid, I will build up from left to right, top to bottom. So one, two, three, four, five cards, then five, 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 right? That's how I will build it up. And Nitka will al score almost exactly the same way that I will. And like Nitka will score the same way that I will, but um, there are like, uh, there are I think 11 different um, kinds of cards, types of cards. And um, I will like, later check how many I am missing and I will get like negative or positive points depending on how many I'm missing, right? So I need to like ha try to have like all animals in here and all of them need, like each type needs to score at least once. Um, for Nitka, that's not the case. Nitka will just score the cards. And then I will draw one card. That's how it turn works. And um, whenever a line is full in Nitka's grid, then I will draw five cards. And I will play that until there are 20 cards in each grid. And then I will score the points. All right, so let's see. Um, I will explain the cards a little bit as I go along, right? There are quite a lot of effects to first, like uh, the first learn. So you see like you have like 11 cards here and they all have like different, um, different ways of scoring. So that is not that easy at first, but once you get going, it's not that hard. I like usually taking meadows because meadows, they give me like up to five meadows, give me like quite a lot of points if they're like connected. And also I would like some bees because bees also give points, three points per, um, meadow here. So I think I will find a bee at some point. So what I will do, I will actually place down more meadow 
um, probably like top left something and then I will do like meadows maybe here like this five and then put like it, like bees in here and also I can put bears right next to the bees because then they will score as well and for Nitka I will hmm I think I will give Nitka a fox because a fox gives Nitka three points except if it's next to a wolf or bear. And you see, I have a wolf here, right? So I might just put it right next to it and then Nitka doesn't score any points. Um, except for like most most wolf cards give you, give him 12 points, but second most, eight points. So that's fine. So if I just take at least one wolf card, that would be fine. All right, and then I draw a card. That is okay. Well, I don't know how, what, I, what I will do with this dam here. Um, I think because that one gives you two points per row and like each row and each column with at least one of those gives you one point as well. Mm, okay, so let me just continue with my meadows here. I think that's pretty good. And then I will put the wolf card here. So with that, this one doesn't score anymore. That is good. Oh, another meadow, that's good. But I need some bees soon. So let me put another one here. Um, I don't have to start from top, right? I could also like stop like start here or there, wherever, right? But when I place cards in my grid, I always like, the first card is fine, but every other one needs to be adjacent horizontally or vertically. So like top, bottom, left or right to like an existing card. So I can't just put a card here. That's not possible. Um, and what will I give Nitka? I'm not sure. Like the Eagles, they give you like two points per um, rabbit and per fish and uh, within two cards. But um, Nitka doesn't have any yet. So let me put it here. So I just can't put any like uh, fish or um, rabbits here. That is fine. All right, let me draw another card. There's a bee, that's what I wanted. So let me put another meadow card right here and then we'll put a bee right there because that bee will then score six points, which is quite a bit. That's not too bad. Okay, uh, and Nitka, well, I will give you another fox, just hoping that I might find a bear or wolf later on. All right, another meadow. That is great, that's perfect. So let me put that meadow right here, like this. So this um, this group of meadows now scores me 15 points already, which is good. And Nitka will, well, Nitka, I will just um, give like this river here, right? Because like this creek, because um, like the largest um, area of creeks gives you like eight points and second most five points. So that is something I can work with. And now you see five cards, like the first row, um, for Nitka is done, so I will just draw five cards now. One, two, three, four, five, and continue the game. And that is how you play the game. Um, of course, like the scoring is interesting. Oh, this fish, I cannot put one, two. I can put it here. Okay, yeah, let, let me let me see how I can do it. Um, so uh, let me just put those in order again. Oh, I have so many of these here. Um, the fish, the eagle, okay. And the meadow, yeah, I can like start another meadow maybe at some point. All right, let me take the B and put it right here because that B now scores six points plus the 15 here. That's not too bad. And Nitka, I will actually give you the fish, I think, because the fish um, only scores if it has like a dragonfly or a creek right next to it. And it doesn't at the moment. And it's also like far away enough from the eagle to score. So that is good. I have another eagle here that I could maybe put over there later on. Okay. Oh, and I do have a wolf here so I can negate that one. Very good. Another creek. I don't want to put a creek here for sure. Okay, what will I do now? Um, like these are pretty good. These just give you like two points. That's not too bad. So I could actually like maybe put one right there. Why? Why not? Right. Um. Then again, let me put it here. It doesn't really matter where I put it. No, let me put it here. It doesn't really matter where I put it. To be honest. Okay, and um, I will give. Uh, I will give them, I will give them one of those. Yeah, I mean, those are two points, but still, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, it's better than all the other options, I mean. All right, so uh, I would need another one of those maybe here. Because I put it there. It's like, yeah, it's like each column then has one, that's fine. But this row, uh, it's enough to have only one. So I would maybe put one there, but I can't do that yet. So uh, maybe let me let me start with like let me put at least one creek here. I think that's fine. And for them, I will give them another one of those. Yeah, it's not perfect, but I need those uh, down there. Okay, fine. 
Oh, a bear. Bear is interesting. A bear gives you two points for each adjacent fish or bee. So I could put it there, and that's two points. That's fine. I'll put another bee maybe there, right? And then that would make sense. Um, so I will put this one over here. That's fine. And then I will put the wolf here so the fox doesn't score. I think that's a pretty good idea. All right. Let me draw another card. It's another meadow. I could start like uh, building a meadow again because these give quite a lot of points. Up here, I don't know yet what I will do there. I don't have anything to put there. I don't know. Uh, I will probably just put like any card there that I don't need. Um, let me maybe put a second creek right here, just so that I have like the largest for now. That's not too bad. And uh, I will put an eagle here because that one doesn't score. There are no, no fish or um, odd rabbits, like two cards away from that thing. So that's fine. That's five cards in the next row. So I will one, two, three, four, draw five cards again. Oops. So let's see, these are all cards you already know. Um, I don't think we have seen all cards, have we? No, we haven't seen the dragonflies yet. Um, and the rabbits. But apart from that, you have seen all cards now. So you see, like, once you know what all these cards do, it, like, gets a lot easier. Oh, another bee. Mm -hmm. Bee and a bear. All right, you know what? Let me put a bee over here and then the bear over here later on because that one then scores four points. I will put another fox here and try to like negate that with a with um, a bear or wolf later on. I will just try at least. Okay, let me draw another card. That's one of those again. Hmm. Well, let me put a bear right here, and then I will put like a creek here because like the biggest like uh, the biggest area of creeks actually scores, and like these two apart, they don't do anything. All right, let me draw another card. Oh, now I will have to build like a meadow, right? <laughs> I've got only uh, these cards. So um, I want to put five. I would like to maybe put another bee here if possible, if I get one. So far, I don't have any. Um, but I could like put a row of five meadows right here and then maybe a fish there or whatever. So let me put a meadow. No, let me put it right there, just in case I get another bear here, just in case. Okay, and then I will give this to Nitka. A fish. Um, oh, that's bad. Well, I just will just give them a meadow. I will put my meadow right here. And I will. I cannot put a fish here because then the eagle will score. But like a single meadow is fine. A single meadow doesn't score any points. So that's fine. Um, another bear. That is great for negating that in just a moment. That's good. So I will give myself another meadow here. And then I will um, give them ah, a second meadow. But that's only three points because the bear i would like to keep my and i would like to put there um and the fish will give the eagle well only two points that's less than the meadow so let me give them the fish here sure fine so another row is filled so i will take one two three four five cards so let's see what we have here another meadow that's good a bear that's fine a fish that's good and an eagle. Okay, okay. There are some few. There are a few good things here. Um, so for myself, I will put another meadow right here. For them, I will of course put a bear here, so the so the fox doesn't score. All right. So last four rounds, and then we're already done. So you see, it's like a pretty quick game, right? I mean, a multiplayer game takes a little bit longer because everybody has like to like draft, but even then, it doesn't take much longer for a two-player game, right? Maybe a little. Um, but um, you can play this with up to six players. So I think in a six player game, we'll take a lot of table space. You need like three times this table space here. Um, and we'll also take longer, but it's still quite simple. All right, um, so did I just draw a card again? Yes, I actually did. I, 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 I drew this that creek here, I think. Okay, so then it's my turn again. Um, I want to put, I need these three cards for myself and then I'm happy. Um, so I will put like the eagle right here because the eagle, there's no rabbit and no um, fish um, close enough because that one is three away. One, two, three, right? And not two. So that is fine. Um, I will give myself, well, let me start with the bear here first. That is another two points. That is okay, I suppose. Um, and then I will just give another creek. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, then let me draw a card. Okay, then I will put a fish right here because that fish um, gives me another two points. That's okay. 
And for them, I will just give them a bear, I guess, because a bear doesn't give them any points. No bees or fish right next to it. Diagonal doesn't count. So I would like to have like a completely different card for me just to have like the diversity because I don't really have a lot of diversity here, right? Like a wolf would be great, but hmm, let's see. So um, I did not get another bee here. I could put a, if I put a fish here, that would be two points for that bear and also um, two points for that one here. That's four points. But if I put a meadow there, I get 15 instead of 10 points. So I get more points for that. So let me put them. Oh, no, I can't put a meadow there because then they're all connected. So then let me put that fish here. And then I will just give a meadow. All right. So and then it's my turn. I somehow missed something because there's still a card missing. But here I'm I'm done. So I must have somehow like skipped one of my turns. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, these both don't grant me any points. So let me just put another fish here, I suppose. And that's it. One card is left over. That is usually how it goes. Uh, let me just scoot it up a little bit. There we go. Just like this here. All right. And now we score points. And for that, we have that handy sheet here. All right. So, um, uh, let me just, you know what, let me just put these a little bit more to the right, just slightly, so that I have like exactly enough room here for that one. Okay, so it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Like, it looks really nice to have like uh, your little forest here, so that is pretty cool. All right, so this is me, Sir Thakos, and this is Nitka. So, and uh, let's take a look, first take a look at the bears. Bears score two points for each adjacent B or fish. So I have this one here, that's two, four, six. And for this one, that's eight points for me. Let's take a look at the bears over here. Um, this bear doesn't score, this bear doesn't score. That is fine. Um, by the way, this might now look good. And if it continues like that, you might think, oh, it's really easy to win. Not really, because you don't need to have more points than Nitka. You need to have like a specific amount of points more than Nitka. So at easy difficulty, which I usually play because that's tough enough as it is, in my opinion, I need to have 30 points more than Nitka, right? That's one thing to keep in mind. All right, bees um, score in such a way that they give you three points for each adjacent meadow. This one here, three, six, nine, 12. That's 12 points for me. Um, no bees for Nitka at all. Then meadows um, score like depending on how many there are adjacent to each other. Five give me uh, 15 points and four give me 10 points. So that's 25 points for me. And for Nitka, that is uh, like one single meadow doesn't grant any points. So these don't score anything. So, so far I'm doing really well. Then um, we have the fish here. Um, each fish scores two points for each adjacent dragonfly or creek. So two, four, that's four points. This one doesn't score at all. And then for Nitka, we have now these all don't score. Okay. Um, I, I think that might, might be the best game I've ever had so far. Um, eagles, I don't have any. Um, eagles score like two points for each um, rabbit or fish that is two away. So this one, oh, I didn't pay attention here. That's two points. Um, this one, not close enough. Here, not close enough. So that's only two points. That's good. Then we have rabbits. I don't have any. And Nitka also doesn't have any. We have never seen any rabbits. Um, let me just show you one here. There we go. That's how it would look like. But we didn't see any. Also, we didn't see any dragonflies. Uh, let me see if I can find one there for you. There we go. Here are the dragonflies. So... These two cards actually did not come up at all. Interesting. So no rabbits for me, no rabbits for Nitka. No dragonflies for me, no dragonflies for Nitka. Um, foxes. Foxes score three points, except if they're next to a wolf or bear. I don't have any. Um, this one is next to a wolf, next to a wolf, next to a bear. So all zero for me, zero for Nitka. The deers, um, they score like each column and each row with at least one deer gives you two points. So that's two points, four points. Six points, eight points. That's eight points for me. And here we have two points, four points, six points, eight points as well. Then we have the creeks. Um, the one with the largest area of creeks gets uh, eight points. That is me. And Nitka gets five points as second place. And then wolf. Um, like the most wolf cards give 12 or eight points. I don't have any wolf. That's pretty bad. 
and Nitka has like two, so Nitka gets 12 points, and I don't get any, because yes, I'm second rank, of course, but I don't have any wolf cards. I need at least one to qualify, so that's pretty bad. And then we have the diversity bonus here. Um, the diversity bonus works in such a way that I will see how many um, animals, animal types I'm missing. That's quite a bit. I do have bears, I have bees, I have meadows, so I have fish. I don't have eagles, I don't have uh, rabbits, I don't have dragonflies, I don't have foxes, um, and I also don't have wolf. That's five that I'm missing. And there is like, um, when you look at the rules, let me find them. Uh, right here let you see how many i'm missing i'm missing five right so that means i get zero points for that zero points and for nitka we don't count that all right so now let's all of that add all of that up and there we go i have 65 nitka has 27 and on easy we win if we have 30 points or more uh, like 30 like 30 points more than Nitka or more than that. And that's the case. I would have needed 57 points at least to win. And you see, I got that. But you see, like, although I was able to, like, like not score, like, a lot for Nitka at all, um, it still was quite close, right? On medium difficulty, I would have needed 40 points more, which would be 67, and I wouldn't have made that, right? So it is harder than you think. And that is how you play the customs, like, the fan-made solo mode of Ecosystem. Um... So I really hope you enjoyed the little playthrough. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. Um, it was very fun to actually show that to you. As usual, I'm thankful for all of you. I want to give a special shout out to my generous Patreons and the biggest thanks go out to Thagano, who is the most generous support at the highest tier. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Also, a shout out to Ryan Hall, who also supports me at the highest tier. I had just recorded this video before he started supporting me, which is why I'm adding this while editing this video. Thank you very much as well. That's very generous. You can support me in numerous ways, by watching my videos, by liking them, by commenting below them, by subscribing to my channel if you enjoy my content enough, which would be amazing, by supporting me on Patreon, and by joining my Discord server to hang out with me and my really cool community. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care everyone, stay safe, and cheers.